Hi guys, it's Mary, and I want to share with you a new technique um, that I um, learned uh, from another YouTuber. Um, I'm pretty sure her name was Joe Simon. Um, and the technique is embossing and then coloring um, on black cardstock. Uh, which gives a great, um, a great look, I think. Um, here's one of the panels that I did. Um, so it works, the technique works better with uh, Distress Oxides because of the chalky kind of um, look of the oxides. And I'll show you um, this one was made with just regular Distress ink. And um, as you can see, it's, um, you can see the color, but it's not as bright as the color turn out with the oxides. Um, this one is done with just regular ink and you can see that it's just a hint um, of color on it. So it really depends on what the look that you want. I mean, you can certainly um, use regular ink um, if you just want this subtle type look um, or regular distress inks. Um, so it's up to you what you want. Um, this one was done with um, the Distress Inks, Distress Oxides, I'm sorry. This one was regular Distress. This one was regular Distress also, as was this one. So I found that some, um, and you wanna use a 3D embossing folder. And I found that some have more, um, more like ridges. Uh, I mean, they're all three dimensional, but the way they're made, uh, the petals are, you know, the flowers. Um, like this one, you probably can't see it. Well, while it's 3D, it's not as raised. Um, as this one is because this one the petals are kind of turned up so gives a much more detailed look um, and this one you can feel it just has more dimension uh, this than this one does so all right so you want to start out with a nice uh, impression. Um, this is this is a fairly heavy cardstock. I think it's a hundred pound. Um, and I just spritz the back a little bit before I put it into the embossing folder. And the, you can choose any part, you know, like I've used a six by six embossing folder and so you can choose where in that embossing folder you want, uh, you like the, you know, the visually. Um, and so, so you've got your um, embossed and then you start off with, and this is the key, and that is a white pigment ink. And I am using the Unicorn um, Unicorn Pigment Ink from Hero Arts. Um, I've, um, this is one of the best pigment inks that I've, uh, ever used. Um, it just, the pad is just nice and it just, um, it's just got a nice feel to it. And so what we want to do is we want to just gently tap. And depending on what 
kind of a look you want. You can add more or less. Every place where you're gonna put your white pigment ink, that's where it's gonna highlight the color that you'll be using. And you, I have found um, that using the direct paper um, gives you a much better covering of the white than using um, uh, you know one of these all right so I'm happy with that So the key is you need this to dry and since it is a pigment ink it's going to take a little bit of time to dry before you go ahead and put your um, ink on. So I have one that I inked the other day and it's dried so we're going to go ahead and use that one. So we're going to start off with the leaves and I'm using, for this I'm using the mode lawn and now I like the rounded pads because um, it doesn't leave a mark and we're just gently going to go over and you want a light touch because you can always put more on but you can't take it off So let me know in comments if you've used this technique or maybe a similar technique. want to go with a light hand like I said That's good for now. While I'm doing the other color, that can dry a little bit. And then if we want to, we can go back and put a little bit more on. I um, I love uh, working with the, the black cardstock because I just think it gives such a look 
I am using picked raspberries for this one and I'm not sure if this is gonna I think I just love the dramatic effect of using the bl uh, black and then the color. So pretty. All right, I think I'm gonna go back and I see a couple of green spots that I miss that I think I can get some color on. You can build your color up. as much as you want. Whoops. I'm going to go back in with the picked raspberry. And add a little bit more. All right. And then I'm gonna take some mustard seed. And this little tiny brush, this is um, one of the detail blending brushes that come in a set of um, three different sizes from um, Altenew. And Get that right on these little, little bits inside here. And there you go. So give that time to dry and then find, get a sentiment and um, a card base. I just think it's very dramatic. You let me know what you think if you like the, uh, the black background. Um, 
I think it's um, I think it's different um, and it, it gives a, a stunning when you know look when they open that envelope so but I do recommend just using the 3d uh, embossing folders not the regular 2d because it won't give you enough depth so hopefully you can see the all the depth that it has so all right so leave me a comment let me know whether you um uh, like um, this idea this technique if you've used it before if you use something else uh, let me know what it is if um, you have a different way of um, coloring on uh, black cardstock so um, so that's it for today's uh, little technique um, thank you for watching thank you if you're a subscriber um, if you're not a subscriber, you can hit that subscribe bell if you would like and then button and then the bell uh, will send you a notification when there is a new video to be watched. Um, I appreciate any time that you have come and visit and if you like the video, please hit the like button. It really means a lot in the YouTube world for uh, us uh, little um, YouTube channels so um all right and if you have any questions leave them in comments any um any comments leave in comments what a great idea um all right so that's it thanks for watching until next time stay safe stay well and happy crafting bye bye